Hey there, family. It is day three of your Success Club All-Star Academy. Today, we're going to be talking about scheduling and calendar. So what I've learned in this business is that you have to be very um, strategic of how you run your calendar, okay? So it takes planning, and I really like to plan my next month at the in the middle of the previous month, and I'll show you how to do that shortly. Um, but scheduling is so important, not only as the previous training talked about scheduling your post, you know, what time um, and posting with purpose, but actually scheduling your challenge groups um, because you want to be able to strategically, strategically make your um, success club points. So we're going to go into the training talking about calendar and the strategy behind how to build your calendar based off the sophisticated way. Um, so I'll go into that. And so how I generally do it, I like to meet my success club points by the 15th of the month, because what that does allow me to focus on developing the team. So I make success club in my account. Um, and then I focus on training the team. And that's how I usually run my business. So the same is for you. Once you start growing a team, do your best. Though you have all month to make success club, absolutely, you have all month to crunch it. Um, but I, but do your best to make it by the fifteenth. So the last two or three weeks of the month, you are building your team. As far as strategy goes, when you start building a team, it's the eighty twenty rule. Eighty percent of the time, you are focused on building your business. Twenty percent of the time, you are building your coaching. And that's the reality of this business. You have to build your business, but you also have to take your time and mentor um, and show your coaches how to develop their business as well. Okay, so that's just a point for as you continue to grow as a coach. So how do you strategically plan your calendar? And I want to show you how I do mine. So let's put some light on the situation. So this is January. Um, Maybe I should do this. Way. Okay, maybe I, I'm gonna hold it up like this so you guys can see. Okay, so this is a January calendar. Hopefully, I, you guys can see it. Okay, and so what I tend to do is, like I said, this is January. However, what I do is, I'll show you, we'll talk about January, but go into February. How about that? So, what I tend to do is, because strategically, again, my goal is to hit Success Club by the 15th of the month, how I do, let's, for example, this is January, and I was planning based off of December. So, the 15th of every month, my goal is to have success club be you know done and if any more or anything over than five is fabulous you know i push for 10 um but of course five is success club but i push for to make success club 10. um so by the 15th of every month my goal is to hit the minimum success club and everything else is bonus after that anyway how i do that i first Start the month or the last week of the previous month, I host a clean eating challenge. Okay? Because what that does, if I host a clean eating challenge, a free five day clean eating challenge, the last week of the month will allow me to meet new people, introduce the lifestyle, introduce the opportunity for them to move over to my challenge group and have people in that challenge group that bought a challenge pack and they're in there by the 15th okay so here's what i do so for example this is january the first now december was interesting because of course you had new years and all that jazz so let's just say i host i hosted a clean eating challenge on monday the 28th so my group would have ended on friday right on friday the first monday the 28th friday the first 
what I do is while I'm, that's the five free five day clean eating challenge. Okay, I host five free five days. The last week going into the first week, the last week of the month going to the first week of the next month. So by Monday through Friday. Now you're in there, you know, you're posting, you do your morning posts, you're in there, you know, you don't have to be in your challenge all day long. Check in once or twice a day, motivate, boom. So Monday starts. By Tuesday, Wednesday, you're gonna know who your rock stars are in let's see, you see Monday, Tuesday. By the first or the second day, I'll say by the second day, third day, excuse me, of that free five day clean eating group, you're gonna know who your rock stars are in there. People that are constantly posting, they feel like this is great because they feel like they've been held accountable and they like posting um, and sharing recipes and sharing their goals and they love cheering others on. So you wanna see who those are by the second or third day of that, the free five day clean eating group, okay? So by the second or third day, you're rocking. By the third, with between the third and the fourth day, those rock stars that have been posting, I'm in their inbox. I'm in their inbox saying, how are you feeling? Oh, thank you so much. You're totally rocking this challenge. You're killing it. Thank you for posting and keeping people inspired. Oh my gosh, girl, you're doing amazing. I hope you do not plan to stop here. Okay, I hope you don't plan to stop here. You're rocking this thing. You know, tell me more about where you're going. You know, what are your, you know, tell me more about your goals. How are you feeling? Um, and if they say, oh my gosh, I feel so great. I, I love that, you know, I'm being held accountable. Fabulous. So I'm like, oh my gosh, if, you, if especially, you know, I know I, this, this group ends on Friday. I hate to see you stop here. Have you ever considered joining my accountability group? stay inspired, to stay motivated, and also to learn portion control. Um, have you ever considered anything like this? All right, now, oh no, I didn't know you had a accountability group, so tell them more about the accountability group, and we have scripts for that, too, if you need them. Now, or if they're a total rock star, um, you know, hey, you're a total rock star in this thing. You are pretty much coaching the group. Have you ever considered doing what I do? And you're like, oh my gosh, you know, it made me daunting to them. But you explain to it, hey, you know, when I started this bad boy, I was however many pounds heavier. I was this. I had, you know, so honestly, well, we're doing it together. So, you know, don't feel like you, you know, it's going to be a very daunting experience because we're going to be doing this together and I'll show you all that I've learned. Okay. Have you ever considered anything like this? Because you're already doing the work, but you're just not getting paid for it. Okay. So anyway, so remember that the last week of the month, going into the first week of the month, clean eating. Okay, five day free, seven day if you're really feeling it. Now, while, of course, I've already introduced that opportunity, the second or third day, I say third or fourth day. However, during the five day clean eating group, because, of course, you already marketed the group. People are already in there. You marketed the week before. I was saying, I only market my five-day free cleaning groups three days. Like the Wednesday or Thursday before, I'll advertise for it and get some people in there. But then while they're in this group, that same week that the group is open, that Monday, the Monday, I'm posting about my 21-day. Okay, advertising for my 21 day that Monday. Now, what I'll do is because what you want to do, you want to introduce the lifestyle. That's this is within the month, you're introducing the lifestyle. The second thing you want to do as far as scheduling your posting. Now, once you introduce the healthy lifestyle, which is clean eating, now you want to get them in the opportunity for his accountability and the community. Get them introduced to the, to the community. So that Monday, while they're in the cleaning group, you externally post, not within the post, not within the group, but externally on your page, whether you have a business page or you have a personal page, you post about 
you know, whatever your advertisement is, you know, as far as, hey, I'm looking for 15 um, moms that are trying to get fit. I lose anywhere between 10 to 15 pounds because this is how I struggled. And I'm looking to help people get there too. You know, talk about that. So that Monday, you're posting about it. Okay? Introducing the opportunity. But like I said, behind the scenes, you're introducing, you're talking, you're inboxing personalized messages. You, honestly, you can kind of cop, 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 you know, copy and paste your messages to the, the rock stars to change the name, you know, and, and add a little personal touch if you need to. And of course, we have templates for that too. If you need, let me know. Um, so you're introducing the opportunity to the, for them because you've already posted publicly about your challenge group. I will say accountability group. I'll say challenge because people that don't like to be challenged. Okay. <laughs> so on that Monday, you're talking about your accountability group. What's happening next? So while you're posting on that Monday about your accountability group. You want to advertise it for two weeks later. Like, for example, if you're accountable, if you're that Monday, or for example, Monday the 28th was your starting your clean eating challenge. Starting your clean eating challenge, but then um, two weeks later will be the 11th of the next month. That's your due date, your start date for your challenge but that's the public date you post the public date you post will be two weeks later because what that does is give people a timeline of when they have to order okay so boom 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 you're in the free i'm still on free cleaning you're in the free cleaning group you tell people hey this is the next opportunity and you give them a deadline to order you give them let's see here you give them until the friday that's your soft deadline you give them until that Friday, the, the, the next Friday, to order. Now, while you have said, publicly said, your challenge group is the 11th, what I tend to do, that is my soft group, I tell publicly communicate that date. But more than likely, people need more time to order in a week or two weeks to order. You know, you put it on their mind, from their heart, they're still watching you. They want to trust you more. So, yes, you communicate that you're, your challenge starts on the 11th, you keep that date. You, like you, that's your, your soft week. So people may still order during that week. So technically, I won't kick it off until the 11th, but I won't publicly communicate that. I won't publicly communicate that. Behind the scenes, I'll, tell, I'll say, hey, you know, if people say, hey, I need, I need a couple more days to order. Like, okay, cool, no problem. I'll load, I'll load you in the group whenever, you're, you, know, whenever you order. Um, but I'll tell them yourself. You're going to start it on the 18th. You open your group, up, you know, the couple of days before, and you actually kick off on the 18th. Now, so then, okay, so you have your clean eating, you have your challenge group. Now you want to introduce the opportunity to coach and join your team. So there's two things. While you're in the challenge groups, you are, that's an accountability group, there are going to be people that are coaching each other. And you ask, have you ever considered doing what I do? Because you're totally, you're, you are killing it. You know, you are inspiring your eye, asking questions. You're making people feel comfortable in this group. You will be perfect. Give them a compliment. You know, tell them why you think they will be a rock star on your team because they're already doing everything that you do. They're just not earning from it. And, of course, share your own experience about how you were nervous about the opportunity in the beginning. Relate to them. Don't make them feel like they're in Mars because they don't, they don't feel like they can inspire. But give them hope. Paint the picture. Share the vision. Okay? So that is while people, while they're in the challenge group, make a challenger a coach. And even still, when they sign up, let me back up a bit. When they sign up, it is more cost efficient for them to come in as a coach anyway because it helps them save the money. $16 a month. Now, what I communicate to people, even when they're clean eater, okay, and they start off with it because people are nervous about the word coach. They think they got to coach somebody. I don't say that. I say, hey, you know, if you're interested, you know, would you be interested in saving the 25% off? Because if you're interested, you get so much more by being a coach slash VIP customer. 
because not only do you get access to 24 seven support and accountability in recipes, but you also get a free coach in the accountability group. And you know, of course you go into the challenge pack, all the things that you get. And ultimately you save $60 a month, but where's your, where your customer, you're paying full price for Shakeology. I mean, to me, it just makes financial sense, but you have to communicate it in the way, in the way to help them understand that coaching, there is no obligation to coach. You're just like, there's that 39.50 sign up fee. Tell them, oh, absolutely. I told you, it, it, it's, a, it's a pretty penny, but you can avoid that by ordering a fitness and nutrition program. Get that fee waived, save the $16 a month, okay? And if you're military, you totally don't have to pay any fees. Okay, so let's keep that in mind as well. Backtrack. Now, you have your challenge group. You introduce the opportunity for them. If, they, you know, they're rock stars and they're really feeling it. Talk about how, you know, and talk about running your next free clean eating group with them and for them to invite their friends to your next free clean eating group and you guys co-coach it together, okay? So, but in the midst of all that, after you have your clean eating group, your challenge group, now you want to go to externally, you're introducing the opportunity. You either want to do a sneak peek or a backstage pass, okay? So that week of the, let me see. Now, after you've, like for example, you've publicly communicated the 11th. Though technically you're not going to do it until the 18th, but that same week you want to do introduce your opportunity, okay? So the people that have been in your cleaning have been in your challenge group that month. Now they're like, oh my gosh, she got something else going on? She has a coach sneak peek? Let me see, let me, even though they're in, they may be in the challenge group currently, they're going to want to go into your sneak peek because they want to see how your team operates. They want to see the environment. They want to see the culture because they know you. They may not know everybody else. They want to see how you guys operate together. So that, again, introduce the healthy lifestyle. Introduce the accountability in the community, then introduce your team, okay? Introduce your team. And then next week, you go back to clean eating, okay? The next week, you go back into cleaning. So, but you have to consistently do this, build this calendar and do it same way every single month. Get a calendar out of your local pharmacy or Staples or wherever else. So I'm, I would do that. First. That is my strategy. How I hit Success Club by the 15th of every month, I get people from the clean eating, or I've been talking to them for, you know, however long. I'm following up with people too. Yeah, because you have people in your from your previous clean eating groups. They've been following you. I hope you have their names written down because you follow up with them. They may have said no in the past, but no does not mean no forever. It just means no for right now. So follow up. Make sure you're writing their names down on the business activity tracker. Or if you have the notebook system, make sure you're writing their names down so you're able to follow up. Don't tell me you think you're going to remember because you're not. Write their names down. Follow up because you want to start following up with people at the beginning of the month. I mean, every day, really. But in order for you to make Success Club by the 15th, you're going to have to be following up with people. Okay? So I hope that that's clear for you guys. Now, in addition to scheduling and um, what else I have? Scheduling and posting, you want to make sure that you are uh, well, scheduling in the calendar. Now, because what Success Club does, it opens up your business center. It's a measure that Beachbody uses is to say, this person is helping people. Take sales out of your mind. You said, okay, by the 15th of every month, I want to have helped three people. That is possible. But it's going to take you to be consistent. That is real. Your, schedule, your calendar, your posting as far as regularly on your page so people know that you are into the healthy lifestyle. You can't post one day about working out and don't post about working out until two weeks later. People are not going to want to come to you for health advice. You don't seem as if you're a subject matter expert, okay? So people are going to want to come to someone they can relate to 
and that you seem as if you got it going on. So you have to be posting about healthy eating. Now, fitness may not be your deal. I'm just saying, no, you work out, but you may not be like, oh, I'm, I'm such a fitness post person. That may not be your thing. You may be, you know, like I said, health or nutrition may be the most post, post out about them. But people want to see that you're in the healthy lifestyle, whether you're a walker, ride a bike, runner. You don't have to be lifting on crazy heavy. Whatever your lane is, post about it. Because people want to see that you're a living example. Okay, so you have to be consistent in that. So that's why you're posting in your calendar is going to be in your calendar. You have to be consistent. Now, I'm going to warn you, the first month you do this is going to feel so awkward. Okay, it's really going to feel awkward. The second month, you're like, oh, okay, it is going to work. You're going to be like, okay, I'm doing it because I need to, you know, get my calendar and my life together and I have to be consistent. So by the second month, you're like, oh my, okay, is this going to work? The third month, you'll start to see. The third month, you will see your business transform. It usually takes about three months for you to see um, behavior change, okay? So I'm going to encourage you. Yes, it's going to feel so abnormal and so uncomfortable in the beginning, but you have to continue to do it this way, and you'll see the change in your business. Now, if you don't make Success Club in a month, I can tell you this. That means you haven't been doing the vital behaviors. I have to be honest with you. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. I love you too much to lie. Um, if you do not make Success Club in the month, that means that one of your vital behaviors is off. It generally takes a, 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 a switch, um, a, a slight glitch for you, um, for you to meet the goal, whether you're not doing your personal development, so you don't seem as the most positive person. You're not putting it out there. You may be talking to a whole bunch of people, but you're not positive okay so that's what the personal development would do it would change your conversation it will keep you uplifted or you're not inviting people to the lifestyle that's talking to people you're not talking to enough people is one of the reason why yeah i make a success club or thirdly you're not coming off the posting sharing that you are proof of the product you're not coming off as a subject matter expert that's why you haven't made a success club. So the one of those three is off as a reason why. So that's what I'm telling you. If you do the three vital behaviors every single day, there is no way you cannot make a success club. It is, I'm telling you, they call them the three vital behaviors for a reason. They are vital, vital to growing our business and vital to us becoming a better version of ourselves. So I hope this helps you. I want to encourage you again to be you, be authentic, be, I mean, and post, post with passion, with purpose, and invite people and be honest and true to who you are and how you invite people to this lifestyle, have honest and real conversations, okay? Don't just boom, shake algae in their face, boom, a challenge back in their book. No, no, I would not want to join your challenge group because you don't know me. <laughs> you know, talk to a person, build a relationship. People do business with people they know. Um, connect. Okay, I know it seems very awkward in the beginning, but you have to be living proof. Okay, and then start that conversation with someone, and then they'll come on board. So I hope this helps someone. I'm so looking forward to um, continue this journey and trust and believe me if you do three vital behaviors every single day your business will blow up and you personally will become the best version of yourselves while you help others achieve greatness so love you guys and i'll see you tomorrow happy soon bye